bum bum under the sea but dun 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 everything's better down where it's wetter take it from me i am testing the audio so let's see if it go uh let me turn on the volume uh let me turn on okay there we go <laughs> All right, we have volume. Okay. Now, do we have game? Do we have game? That's the thing. And I've been asking myself that every every day of my life. I wake up, say, Coffee Nut, do you have game today? Still don't know the answer. We'll find out on this episode of Playing Soma, uh, also known as Canada Simulator, also known as, um, you know, don't be a guppy. Come on, man. I'm in a little mermaid mood today. Talking about the ocean and the sea. It's got me on a little mermaid mood. Dun 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 dun. Oh, got this pint of pure, you know, triple distilled water. Very high in um, hydrogen, two of them, oxygen. Got double the hydrogen as the oxygen. <coughs> Breakthrough. Breakthrough, I know. All right. I can already hear the creepy crawlies in my ear. That was probably just uh, the meth. I'm just kidding. That's a joke. <laughs> it's the game. Uh, let me see what's going on here. Okay. Uh-oh. It's Soma, I know, man. I'm thinking we can beat it tonight, right? I mean, we've put six-ish hours into this game. I looked up the average to beat time, and it's right around eight or nine. So I think maybe we give it a solid two hours, make some progress. I think we got it. I think we can put this one to bed. Uh, anyways, what's up? Nothing much, man. Nothing much, just an average Sunday over here in Coffee Nut Land. Got burned at the pool, and... Uh, now I'm going to get burned by thinking that this game is fun. <laughs> I hope you had a good weekend, man. What's up with you? How's it going, Ian? Did I tell you about Meth Man? No, 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 you did not. Meth Man? That sounds like the beginning to a great story. <laughs> you, don't just, you don't just know a Meth Man. Well, I'm sure, actually. Maybe everyone does, like, secretly know a meth man. We used to have, like, uh, near where I would grew up, we, th we had this guy, and he was always tripping on something, and we never knew. And he would just, like, walk down the street and yell at people. So we nicknamed him the Tripper. And when I was a kid, you know, I, every time we saw him, I swear... I thought the guy had magical powers because I like didn't understand what drugs were, and I was like, I was like, dude, that guy's probably like a freaking wizard or something, you know? He's like, he's like speaking in tongues, speaking to people who aren't there. <laughs> I was like, and one time, oh, I can see the things out there. One time, a car drove by, and I swear to God, it went by him, and then by the time it passed, he was wearing another shirt still never know how he pulled that off uh your weekend was boring oh man well at least it was easy like boring and easy is better than incredibly stressful and hard so you know we'll, we'll take we'll take the little wins the little victories well this looks very comforting i need to like get my i need to get my bearings again i don't remember where we are in the level at the moment I remember when I thought that alcohol made you see unicorns. <laughs> no, hey man, where are they serving those drinks, Ian? I gotta, I gotta come to wherever you are if you, you know, you get to see, get to see some unicorns, have a, have a couple of cores. <laughs> oh, old buddy, old pal, right there. Oh, is frickin' Gumby already right here? Are you serious? Dude, Gumby. Bro, why you like us so much? Go away. I almost 
named the stream like "Go Away Gumby." <laughs> okay, yeah, get out of here. Get your pustules and get out of here. Frickin' Gumby. Beautiful looking guy. I wonder. Where, I wonder what his skincare routine is. You know, the God Emperor himself. It is I, but it's really you, Shadow. How's it going, man? How's Canada? We're playing the Canada game today. Oh God, it's Gumby. Go away. I know what I have to do here. I actually found it out. Are we gonna have to play Ring Around the Power Generator? Is this how this goes? Always good, man. How are you? Now that's the kind of positivity we need. We need more shadow storms in this world. I'm doing great. Had a good weekend. Got a little sunburned. If uh, you know, you couldn't tell by this nice red dome I have here. Um, but hey, I'll take it. I got out of the apartment, so that's you know that's always a plus these days. Oh, where did he go? Oh, I lost him. That's the so there's like a power brick on one of the walls. And, like, that's what we have to get. Oh, dude, get out of here. Maybe it's in that other door. There's a door we can open over there. I thought all drugs were high-class hallucinogens when I was little. I think we all did, you know? I remember... Oh, this is hysterical. Did, did, did you have, like, Red Ribbon Week at your school, Ian? Like, the anti-drug week where they'd, like, come and talk to you? I got a funny story about that. Oh my god, he's just standing there. Menacingly! Okay. Alright, let's... Uh, I don't think I can go anywhere else. I just kind of like wait on him. Turns out I don't have the force. I was under... This is not the robot with a human mind you're looking for. It's probably a Seth. Yes, you did. Okay, so when I was little, I mean, I was probably in like third grade. Can I just like spook him? Like... Dude, move. Is he like glitched? Oh my god, he's so disgusting. Uh, I think he's glitched. What the fuck? Okay, there we go. At least he's moving now. Okay, sweet. <laughs> it's like, come on. <laughs> Get out of the way. Uh, but anyways, when I was little, I thought tobacco and marijuana were the same things. And my dad used to smoke cigarettes. So the teacher was like, does anyone know anyone who's, like, done marijuana? And I raised my hand. And I was about to say that she didn't call on me, but I had it prepped. Like, my dad smokes marijuana all the day, like, all day, all the time. And then I told my mom after school. I was like, I was like, I finally learned about, like, what dad smokes. I was in, like, probably, like, third grade. And... I was like, I didn't know dad smoked marijuana. And she was like, oh my God, did you say that? I was like, no. <laughs> but I was about to. <laughs> and my mom also worked at that school. So I was just about to tell her coworkers that uh, my dad's a massive pothead. Which he's not. <laughs> so that would have been hysterical. Also, this guy like needs to move. I don't know why he's like still standing there. Do I just have to, like, run by him? I mean, we can try that. I think I have a checkpoint, like, right back here. So do we just try the... Try the... Run for glory? I mean, it was pretty funny. I can, Im I can imagine if I had actually said it, and then, like... You know, the gossip started going around between the teachers and then, you know, got to my mom and be like, what the hell did my kid say? 
about my husband? You know, like, I just didn't know. I, did. I was like, he smokes something. All right, fuck it. I'm about to just run by this guy, and, and you know, we're gonna we're gonna test our luck. I wonder if I can throw something at him. Okay. That inspired some action. Yeah, yeah, keep coming, keep coming. You you need to move away from that door. <laughs> Come this way. Come over here. I honestly just feel like he's glitched. Dang it! <laughs> okay, I tried. I tried. But I think I'm in the room that I need to be in. So... Uh, just, we're gonna play extra careful. It was a strategic death. Exactly. Here we go. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on. How, what am I supposed to do with this? Oh, I have to, like, pump it? Oh, God, he's back. Why is my mouse not... It's, like, not working with my mouse. That's weird. Yeah, come on. Come on. This is no time to play games, Mouse. This is way harder than it should be. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Power's on. Power's on. That's progress. Now we just gotta get by Gumby. I repeat, the power is on. Oh god, there he is. At the only exit. Oh my gosh. Uh, my friend used to make messed up jokes in class, so he decided to make the smart choice of saying that his dad molested him as a joke. Oh my god. And the cops were called, and he was suspended for three weeks. Holy crap. Yeah, that's not the kind of joke you want to make. I can't see this guy. What the hell is happening? I hear him, though. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, yeah, go that way. Not the brightest kids I was friend with. Hey, well, you know. As, as long as you turned out all right, then I think it's okay, right? I think we all knew some, we all had some idiot friends. I, w I remember one time, uh, oh God, I just made a noise. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Okay, 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 okay. Yes. See ya, boy. There we go. Okay, anyways, though. <laughs> I remember one time. I, I was in, like, second grade. And there was... I, I was walking into the bathroom. And uh, I just see the stall door fly open. And I hear this kid crying. And I was like, what the hell is going on in there? 
kid runs out and he's just dripping water, sobbing. And I just go, what happened, man? And he just goes, Ugh, like so-and-so gave me a swirly. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, wait, that like actually happens in school? I was like, people actually give swirlies? I thought it was fake. And it turns out that the kid who did it was one of my friends. You know, you're in second grade and you think you know people. Turns out they're just a big bully. <laughs> Giving people swirlies. I was like, come on. I, I thought that was just like stuff from like 80s movies. You know, like things that people think happen in school that actually just never really happens in school. <sighs> oh, touch the butt. There we go. Alright, got rid of the... Got rid of the drowning filter. Alright, let's... Whoa, that looks spooky. Down there. Okay. I'm assuming we have to climb all this. So that we, this could be interesting. Not sure how to approach this one. If there's a freaking water monster in here, I'm I'm gonna cry. And then I will proceed to break my microphone. I don't know why, it just feels correct. This feels like the right thing to do. <laughs> uh, someone I knew through those pop it rock at the special ed kid oh no when he was pooping and they got expelled rightfully so also hello thank you so much for the follow hope you're enjoying the stream yeah that deserves an expulsion you know people did a lot of crazy stuff back in school man back in like elementary school like there was no rules also middle school Middle school was also a, a, a messed up time. If I saw myself from middle school, I would, I would, I would slap myself across the face and be like, "What were you thinking?" <laughs> okay, so that ladder goes nowhere. That let's check this other one, like on the far side. He jumped over on top of the stall. Oh, that's terrible. I remember one t okay, just because just we're talking about, like, dumb things that happened in school. Uh, there was another one where, uh, so there was a bathroom. Um, so there were two main, like, boys' bathrooms on our side of the middle school. And one was, like, where all the classrooms were. And then the other one was right next to the principal's office. And someone went during one of the classes and took, like, a Sharpie Magnum. So, you know, like one of those huge, thick ones. And frickin' went to town on all the walls, on all the stalls, on all the sinks, on all the toilets. And I kid you not, it was like the freaking dick carnival rolled into town. Because they were everywhere. Everywhere you could see. It's, you know, and it's, one went the entire wall. It was hysterical. <laughs> And it was, but then, you know, because he, he rode the dick carnival into town, he, we lost our bathroom privileges. So if you had to go to the bathroom for the rest of the semester, you had to go to the one in the principal's office. <laughs> it, was, it was hysterical. God, I will never forget that. That was, that was one of the funniest things. Okay, what kind of puzzle is this? This is pretty wild, man. Oh, does that one go higher over there? Can I move? I don't know if I can climb on this. Can I? Oh, I can. Okay, okay. Progress. That was probably the craziest, uh, 
or like the 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 best prank that I saw in middle school was the frickin' you know the the absolute demolition of the bathroom. <laughs> it was pretty funny. For for a middle school boy, that was about as high tier as comedy gets. I'm a, I'm a little more refined now. I'm a slightly more refined. I don't want to give myself too much credit though. Uh, middle school makes me think of Jules, class clowns, and paper poppers. Yeah. Are, for paper poppers, are you referring to like the, we used to call them hornets, but the things you'd like shoot with elastic? Also, don't cry wolf. Welcome back to the stream, my good man. I hope you've had a great weekend. And, you know, let's see if we can beat Soma today. That's kind of the goal right now. All right, I think we just got to start exploring. I, I haven't figured this puzzle out yet, so I think we're just going to start, you know, making our rounds across some of these uh, some of these platforms. Don't cry. We, we were just talking about uh, school pranks. I don't know how long you've been there, but if you have any good ones, feel free to feel free to throw them in. I wasn't much of a prankster. I was a pretty good kid. And even when I was like... And I, I was never a bad kid. I would never say I was a bad kid. So, I, you know, I was always an observer. I never I never took part in, in the pranks. I've always, I've always been very compassionate. <laughs> Puzzles and monsters. I mean, who could dream up a better time, right? Puzzles and monsters. That's all you need, man. Puzzles, monsters. Oh, I just knocked over a coaster. Don't worry, that was nothing important. There we go. We gotta get some agua. Agua fria. Well, this looks promising. Good pranks. Yeah, yeah, they're hard, you know. Some pranks aren't good. Some are just like, you know, lame and... I, oh god, I feel like I... What? I'm assuming this is good? That's bad. Okay. Maybe it's not good. Where are we? Let's see what his last moments were. What happened? What did she do? Run! We gotta get her out of there! Holy shit, Hart blew up the O2 surplus. She sealed the tunnel! She really didn't want anchors following us to Omicron. Her suit is leaking. We have to get her to Omicron. Shit, is that bad, the girl? Is that the girl in our Omni tool that's talking? The the female voice? Huh. Okay, let me catch up. Uh, not hornets. You fold a piece of paper and flick it, and it makes a really loud bang. Oh, okay. I I don't think we had those. We 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 did we didn't have that kind of innovation yet. Uh, when I was there. Do it with construction paper and it sounds like a gunshot. Actually, I think I know what you're talking about. It looks almost like a triangle thing and you do that and it like claps really loud. I, th I think I do know now. I think I remember. I don't think we did those until high school though. All right, let's get our bearings. Let's find out what's going on around here. Oh, are those mines? Or are they like little terrariums? All right. Let's find Omicron. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> to Omicron we go. 
This looks pretty wild, man. This is futuristic. What are these things? Also, we're back in the open ocean, so I fear I fear that our good friend uh, Barnacle Head is going to be back with vengeance. He likes he seems to roam in these parts. At least we're done with Gumby though. Right? As long as there's no more Gumby, I'm good. He's more inconvenient than anything. <laughs> Alright, let's find out what this is. Power failure. Okay. Are there any clues? Is this a little dude? Oh no, is this our friend? Is this our... Oh my god, no. I think that was our little buddy from the other one. Or at least the same model. Let's grab a heal. You gotta go. See ya. Have a good one. Thank you, sir. You as well, Ian. Have a great one. I will catch up with you on the next one. Hope you have a wonderful week. Huh. I'm guessing that there's nothing to do there. Uh, at least with the power outage. I feel like we have to do a little more homework first. Is this one dead too? Okay. Maybe it wasn't our buddy. It's just the same model. Does anyone remember Chibi Robo? Or am I dating myself? Because that face kind of looks like a Chibi Robo kind of thing. Is that, is that too 90s kid? Hope they saved me a diving suit. Well, I don't know what I expected to happen there. <laughs> For a second, I thought you were talking to the dead guy in the ocean floor back there. Well, you know. You play this game enough, and you just kind of lose your mind, and then you start talking to uh, dead people. I see them around my house, too. It's kind of weird. Open up! What is this shit? Let's see what this is. Armacron is in quarantine. This is why they didn't answer our call. Hello! Christ, Strasky, it's called a radio. They're not gonna hear you better if you scream. Jonesy, are you okay? Look, I know you're the strong silent type, but I need you to say something every now and then so I know you're all right. <laughs> Jonesy? The strong and silent type. Jones. Fuck's sakes. Let's try the annex again. Maybe we can break in. We're losing oh. Jonesy. We need to get her inside. Well, get in line! Okay, it's not her. It's not. There's nothing we can do for her right now. It's not the girl Get in the stasis switch and Let's check the annex. Excuse me. All right, check the annex. So I'm assuming there's like an out piece, maybe this over here with the lights on it. Maybe there's like a little out piece to get the power on. That also looks like there could be a puzzle down there. Let's check this building out first, though. I'm intrigued. Substation 3, everybody. Alright, here goes nothing. Don't cry, have you been playing better chess? Uh, have you been playing better chess these days? I know you said you weren't. You weren't quite on it last week. Well, that's a no. Okay. Maybe two, power first? Nope. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm assu well, I'm assuming this isn't going to open. Yep, okay. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Envir environmental awareness. You know, always got to have it. Warning, before flushing, make sure to open valves and turn the pump on. Okay. Open the valves. One. Two. Buckle my shoe. Three, four, lock the door. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> it just felt correct. 
I whipped some dude so bad on a stream the other night he tilted, then started playing Modern Warfare. <laughs> yes, don't cry. That's awesome, man. Yes. I love it. Oh god, okay. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Something... Some... Something's moving up there. This person gets shot? Oh my god, they did. What the heck happened here, people? Don't, don't cry. How'd you, how'd you, did you stream snipe him or did he like, was, was he playing like in, invites or something? You just sharked him. Wow, that was, very, anything. that was very informal. I can't read him like the others. Maybe because he's fully human is my guess. I don't know though. Catherine? What? Oh, there you are. Where are we? We're right next to Omicron, a smaller building connected to the main site. Can't you tell? No, my view is pretty limited. There's some heavy restrictions on my system access. Did you find a power suit? Not yet. I'm trying to figure out how to get into Omicron, the big building. Oh, okay. Keep up the good work. That's it? Aye, aye, Captain. You got nothing? Good luck. Thanks. Okay, she's usually way more helpful Cat? than that. What's up? so okay with all this with what here we go being a talking box for one thing not being human that's not so bad so you're not bothered at all by not having a body i'm getting there you're making me feel really self-conscious come on be serious i never felt that comfortable being human in the first place this isn't much worse not being able to move would freak me out glad you got the box and not me would make it a little easier to help out if I had a body, but you're doing. This is getting job. very deep again. Just figured, being able to stretch a little. This would game give is some like ease. has some like my very philosophical to my experience very well. moments. I feel about as human as before, but as if suspended in air, which is kind of interesting now that I think about it. Huh. Okay. Kath, why do you think I was made? Why would this AI, the WoW, bring me here? I don't think we could ever know. I have my own beliefs, but nothing that can be verified. I'll get to that Tell in a second, me. don't cry. Why do you think the WoW brought me here? The WoW had the a range wow. of assignments, but they all sprung from one single idea. Preserve humanity. When the comet hit the Earth, killing everything, leaving a fraction of humanity left alive, the WoW started to compensate. It's restoring humanity. I think so, but I don't think we share its definition of human. Oh. Or life, for that matter. Is this the, a this is the AI thing? Wow. Okay. Wow, that got deep. All right. Catherine, are we alive? That's an impossible question to answer. We lack meaningful definitions. Just figure there must be a way to know. To know if this life is worth living. Oh my God. You assume you've changed so much, but have you really? I don't know. I don't feel so different. The world sure does. Wow, that's I deep. I never realized how much the idea of myself depended on where I am. How do you mean? I miss Toronto. And not because my friends and family are there, but because I know where I fit in. In Toronto, I know who I am. Wow. That's an interesting observation. Where'd you go? Just doing some exploring. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Uh, so, same dude. We played a game where I maybe played the best moves of my life. Heck yeah, man. Uh, but missed something and lost. As You know, par for the course in chess. Uh, I needed the redemption a little bit, and now, now you're two out of three against him. Heck yeah, man. Guess what? You aren't playing Modern Warfare right now. So, you know, that says a lot about you and a little about him. You know? That's what I'm thinking. That got super freaking deep again. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, we have another puzzle here. Okay, connect. 
the dots. That's what I'm thinking. Shit. <laughs> uh, that was supposed to happen. Oh, dang it. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna like make the path there and then I'm gonna flip the final circuit. There we go. Uh, did it not like it? What? What? <laughs> okay. Damn it. Uh. Okay. Go there, go here. Go here. Do we have to like light up both? Oh, do we only have a certain number of moves? That's okay. I get it now. I get it. I see. Got to use the big brain. <laughs> there we go. Oh, the terminal just lit up. There we go. Okay. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with cooking with fire. Uh, so the first part of that one game uh, you lost is freaking incredible because I broke some of the rules of chess for this winning combination. The computer doesn't even see it immediately. Ah. So it do explain. Can you put that into layman's terms? By breaking the rules of chess? Did he just do something like really unexpected? And you exploited that with, with some strange movements or... Cause like, how do you exploit the rules of chess? I'm mean, they're they're so. Old. I don't want to say old. Do we but, have any pain you know, left? Very this set and known. Is Sorry, we only have heavy stuff left. Morphine level drugs. I'll take it. Feels like my head is about <laughs> to explode. Can do. That's stuff for emergencies. Besides, Cameron thinks the ringing will settle when Jr. reaches a hundred percent. Then tell him to hurry the fuck up. Should be a matter of hours. Just hang in there. Keep me posted. Yeah, well, um, I have this thing I need to take care of. He said my so head I'll is going to explode later, okay? and there's a guy with a hole sure in his head. Thing, he must have overloaded his black box. Humans have black boxes? Here we do. Company policy. It records your vitals to help medical personnel treat you in case of accidents. That's how I can hear the dead. Right. Oh my yeah, god, that's actually what happened. His box. head exploded. Just like the intercom at Theta. Ooh, okay. There has pass. to be a way to cancel the lockdown. Have a look around the room. Okay, I can do that. So his head literally exploded. Nice. <laughs> well, papers, papers. Eh, papers. Papers. Get your papers. Assaulted. I think Salt we know the what? password. Why do I get the feeling that we just got lured into the back of a van? What are you talking about? Oh, well, that's good to know. The thing that monitors your vitals, all offline, everyone's dead. Perfect. That makes me feel very comfortable. <laughs> Unnecessary security update for paranoid lad rats. People don't bite. Dead people don't bite. Oh, no. Oh no, okay. 6866. Six, six. Almost the number of the beast. Not quite. And. Omicron retracted the quarantine shutters. Lockdown cancelled. Something wants us to come inside. And we want to go inside. What's the problem? 
Come on, let's get going. Do you not realize you're in a horror game? <laughs> All right, so there are certain ways of developing pieces that you shouldn't do like 999999,000 times, but this was one exception out of a million. Also, long plays, welcome. How are you doing? Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. We're playing Soma. We're getting spooked, and I am dying. Case in point. <laughs> Did I actually take enough damage right there? Ah, no, I'm not gonna go up again. What's up? How was Dragon Age? Okay, back out into Omicron. I thought you finished this game. No, we're close. Um, that my goal, my goal tonight is to beat it. So that's kind of what we're, that's kind of what we're pushing for here. Fujikuro, hello. Hello, hello, my the Italian league professional, Haken. Welcome back. How's everybody doing tonight? This game's this game's a little more high stress than Dragon Age Origins. So you know, I hope, you know, I hope no one's uns unsettled by this. <laughs> We got our chibi robo friend out here. Bamba Fuji, thank you very much. Bienvenici. I, I don't know any Italian. <laughs> I know, I know, uh, I know some Spanish. Uh, that's about it, though. Yep. Don't cries in here. Okay. So the backstory. Let me. You know. Let's get some backstory for those of you who don't know. We are currently someone's consciousness stuck inside of a robotic scuba suit and uh, thus we are trying to uh, trying to find out what actually happened to us that's that's about as uh, quick of a explanation of this game as I can <laughs> can give okay off to Omicron oh boy so, yes, I am basically Nautilus. Actually, Haken, that's an amazing parallel to draw, actually. We're basically not a, Nautilus. We're like a consciousness stuck inside of this, like, scuba gear. Use alternate entrance. Okay. Use alternate entrance. All right, everybody, put your, put your peepers on. <laughs> oh god, we're getting glitches. There's a monster near us. Okay. Whoop, whoop. Don't, better be the right way. don't look down. I need. Oh my god, I'm trying to think of some Nautilus quotes. I used to main Nautilus support back when that was like when that first hit the meta. I can't think of any like off the top of my head though. Okay, how about this? There we go. Now we're in. Now we in business. The big daddy from Bioshock. Yeah, yeah, kind of similar. Kind of similar. Except not as cool, you know. We're we're a little bit lamer. <laughs> Hold on, my chat's being funny. Let me let me refresh the page real quick. All right, there we go. I have my chat up on my tablet. I think my tablet just had a little glitch. Wow, this looks pleasant. Okay. Man. Whatever whatever happened here must have been mind blowing. Am I right? I hate myself. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, can you go third person? No, you cannot. This is fully, uh, fully first person, and I think it also works in VR. Although, I, I got a VR headset. I'm going nowhere near this game in that thing. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not ready for that. It's stress in my life. Well, that's comforting. You know, just a little... Just a little blood dripping off the ceiling. Gotta... Gotta love it. Nice interior decorating. Really, really pulls the place together. The blood ceiling, the blood floor. You know? Popped heads. I think we, you know, just stumbled into Mike Myers' vacation home. Right at the bottom of the ocean. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Good so far. Anna, before you join, I think I think we saw the last of Gumby. So, I think we got that monster out of the books. He was... Oh, okay. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? <laughs> you, you need to stop it. I need to stop what? I need to stop making terrible jokes? I know, I'm working on it. Why am I re leaning in real life? <laughs> am I sure about that? Oh, God. I hope I am, dude. Gumby was just inconvenient, you know? Like, the barnacle guy, the, that guy, he, he was more interesting, you know? He had a little more uh, fear to him. Gumby was just annoying. All right, let's see what's going on in here. Nothing? Okay. Crouch. Assume the position. Oh, this is a very pleasant bed. You know, that one That one stayed marginally clean. There's no blood here. Grab a little rest. I uh, got some... Some aspirin. Okay. And pro plus. Excellent. Wow, I'm, I'm even in quarantine in the game. This is getting too real, guys. <laughs> Honestly, if the actual Gumby was in this game, it would be just as creepy. I think it would be creepier. That vacant smile, that fake smile, and those big eyes, the absence of fingers except for thumbs, horrifying. <laughs> Gumby would be a thousand times creepier <laughs> than, than all the monsters in this game. I was thinking about things that was the other day that's like actually scary from childhood. And I don't did anyone here watch Courage the Cowardly Dog? That show was legitimately screwed up. I have no idea how that was marketed for like you know elementary schoolers. Okay. I think we're okay. Uh, imagine him running towards you really fast. Oh my god, down a dark corridor with like some flickering lights. Oh my god, that'd be so frightening. Uh, is this Omicron? Kids back then have bigger balls. I, so I'd agree with that, you know? Limited. Hey, can I, th I think, I I think you're actually right on that. Apart. Okay, we need to find you a power suit, you know, so we can go into the abyss without ending up like a recycled can of soda. You think we'll find one that fits me? I mean, I'm kind of the abyss. That's it. That's exactly that's where I want to go in a horror you game. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Okay, so we do it again. You want to send me to the future? No, you idiot. I want to transfer your mind into a new body. What? Look, we already know it can be done. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. There's got to be something. Yeah, that's a that pretty big deal. There. But Dunbat at Theta was the only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something else. Simon, please. You don't have to switch this instant. Just 
Play along for now. If we find something else, then great. If not... I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. Okay. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits. Okay. If there are any left. You know, they're just going to transfer my consciousness into another body. The, the last level is just you trapped in a room with every monster in the whole game, and the lights go out. Oh, my God. Don't cry. Don't say it. Oh, my God. I would die. I, my heart would just pop. It'd be, you'd see it, like, explode, and it'd splatter the camera. and every, Oh, God. It'd be, it'd be not pretty. So I hope for y'all's sake that that's not the last level. <laughs> Power suits tested and ready. What are you Jasper waiting for? confirms. Find a power suit and let's get on with this. Catherine? Don't you think I can handle this? I've gotten us this far. Okay. Chill. You, you put her in her Omni tool and you carry her around. And all of a sudden she thinks she owns you. Come on, man. I've done everything. All you've done is sit in that little tool and, and, and pontificate. All right? I'll get us through this. Eventually. <laughs> if there are any power suits left, they should be in the lockers. I'm assuming these are the lockers. I feel like that's a trap question. Ooh, tread lightly. Uh, you didn't mean it. Okay, okay. Technology owns us in real life. That's, you know actually pretty true i oh i was listening to uh i was listening to freaking you know elon musk what he's you, you know for? he's probably Find a power suit and let's get on with this he's probably just a consciousness inside a robot so anyways he was like talking uh and he's like we use our phones so much we're basically already cyborgs cuz it's just an extent you know it's like an extension of our brain and like our consciousness and the way we communicate through it and you know expand our own internal memory with like the phone and i was like this is crazy Simon, but i kind of believe it in the lockers. i kind of get what he's saying you know okay there we go suit suit acquired oh god nice I found one of the power suits. There's oh. a dead woman inside. At least I think it's a woman. Just like the body we found in the annex. Oh. She's missing her head. Gross. This could work in our favor, though. Look for a terminal nearby. See if you can boot it up. How is the dead woman with her head decapitated now going to help us? <laughs> that consciousness has been functional, malfunctioning lately. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's said some interesting things. Good old Mr. Mr. Elon. Uh, power suit activation, pod D. I think that's what it was in. Error Not found. Exactly with grade a material. Don't write it off just yet. Remember okay. what we found out at Theta. The suit you are wearing is basically just a Cortex chip working a few pints of structure gel powered by the on-suit battery pack. Okay. And a dead colleague, Imogen Reed. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. We found a suit with an already dead body inside. I guess you're right. What about the wow? What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithms. A set mm. pattern. The wow won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of wanting to. Okay. I'm still not crazy about this plan. It feels wrong. Please, Simon. I can't give up on the Ark. I need this to work. So we need a Cortex chip? Structure gel and a battery pack. That's okay. one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. I'll just hang around here if that's okay. I'll be back. All right. Where do we get that? <laughs> Come on. We need to get a cortex chip. Cortex chip. A battery pack. Battery pack. Has anyone actually read about AIs? So I, I, my main major was information systems. So I, I studied AIs a little bit. I had a, I had a data. Data, a couple data analytics classes, and we had to use like neural nets and, you know, some like very low, you know, rudimentary, like machine learning for some of the stuff. It's pretty fascinating, man. The future's a weird place. That's that's all I can say. It's, it's pretty fascinating. 
Pretty soon we're going to be walking around in Canada, you know, just our consciousness at the bottom, you know, of the ocean, shambling off to Tim Hortons like a bunch of zombies. Okay, Cortex chip, battery pack. Um. Well, I think we already looked around in this room, so let's explore a little bit more. Let's try and go the... Yeah, let's try and go this way. What is this? South Hall FI. Okay. I hear something. I heard something moving back there. What the heck? Okay, okay. Do you have anything I can take? No? Okay. Alright, alright, alright. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Oh my god, I totally hear something in that other room. Okay, this turned on. An unusually sedated orange roughy is hovering outside Omicron. It's been remarkable bone growth, kept swinging for a few minutes, instantly started banging into the glass and bludgeoning itself to death. Very nice. Okay. All right, let me catch up with Don't Cry. Uh, one experiment was to make uh, intel. God damn it, stop doing that. <laughs> One experiment was to make an intelligence uh, relative to our own. So one day, scientists realized the AI had cloned itself, invented its own programming language, and was communicating with its offspring faster than they could understand what was happening. Needless to say, they pulled the plug and shut it down immediately. I think I've heard of something like that, actually, now that you mention it. I think I've heard of something like that. What the heck? Get the virus? What does that mean? Error removing lockdown. Dude, the A so the AI in this game is like starting to get it's starting to like screw with us. And that's kinda like messing with me. System overload. Is this like minesweeper or something? Okay, okay. Oh, maybe I have to get all of them? Yeah, I think that's what it is. There we go. That was a nice little, that was a cool little puzzle. Okay, power's back on. We're back online, everybody. Okay, there's something in there. There's something trapped in there. Okay. Inner peace. Calm. Focused. Everything is fine. Nothing's wrong. And everything is okay. I think this is a dead, dead end here. Or are we going to get scanned? Okay. Uh, what was the experiment called? I want to read about it. I would also be interested to know. That sounds, you know, that sounds pretty intense, man. Uh, one of Google's experiments. Dude, Google does some crazy stuff, you know, behind the scenes. Structure, gel, test, formula, stationary phase, death phase. No death phase. Okay. I don't know enough about the, I don't know enough. Dude, that thing totally just made a noise. That headless body totally just made a noise. What the heck? 
Don't mess with Asimov's laws. Yes. Wasn't Isaac Asimov... Isaac Asimov. He was like a really well-renowned uh, science fiction writer, right? I don't, I don't know a ton about him, but I, I, I know that he was like he was very well-respected in the sci-fi community. God, get the virus. Okay. Apply gel to dead mouse. The gel caused the mouse to appear alive. It was put into the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated mouse was apathetic while the living one seemed stressed. After 15 minutes, the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse... I don't know why I said mouth there. Stopped moving. The corpse was solid as the gel had hardened within it. Oh my god. Progress. Reanimated another one. The results were impressive. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Stop glitching. That's freaking me out. The thing appears catatonic, but it's more of a sleepwalker. To avoid it hardening, we used electromagnets to keep the current in the animal. And it's proved to be somewhat controlled. Okay. WAU, the gel's not taking on any new properties. WAU uses it in ways that we could never have dreamed of. Oh my god. Take the gel. Okay, take the gel. Where is it? Okay, don't tell me anymore. Get out of here. <laughs> oh god, that is freaking messed up. Poor mouse. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, error. Control chip malfunction. Can we insert it into one of these computers like before? No? Hmm. Maybe it's in here. Yeah, that's probably it. Dispense gel. Ooh. I don't I don't I'm not I'm not picking up what this thing's putting down quite yet here. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. The button. Oh, I wonder if I can put the. Uh... Oh, that's a dead rat. <laughs> pleasant, very pleasant. You know, if we get hungry, I guess. <laughs> Dispense gel. Okay. Uh, do I have to do it like beforehand? Can I open it? Oh, I can open it. Okay, so I see. I see. I see. Put that there. There we go. Boom. Now we're cooking with gas. There we go. Oh. Too far. Please don't be touchy. Okay. <laughs> I was like, if I lose this because I can't aim the the freaking mechanical arm, I'm going to be upset. Alright, I think that should be it. Right? There we go. So the whole, so the structure gel and like all this stuff around the base and in the walls is this gel. And it's, the AI is controlling it somehow? Never seen anything of that speed. Oh my gosh, okay. Hmm. Getting into some pretty deep sci-fi here. Okay, gel, check. We got the gel. Now we need Cortex chip and a battery. And then we're ready to rock. Okay. Steal your mind, champion. It's important. It's important. Okay. Why is he stuck in there? What is going on? 
I'm also reading how Google translates AI has invented its own ang language that it's translating other languages into and out of. Wow. Well, I guess... I wonder if that's like an algorithm thing, you know? Like if it made an intermediary language that the incoming, you know, and outcoming, it could like process, you know, in that middle layer and then spit back out. Like something that has characteristics of all of the above, you know, can be used to process. Oh, these are some messed up fish. Okay. The Atlantic Cod. Da -da 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 -da. Love me some cod. Okay. Dude, AI is weird, man. Especially when you're... T Have you ever heard of exis exis existential risks? That's what it is. Have you ever heard? It, looked into existential risks? Now that's some, that's some down the rabbit hole stuff, man. Because AI is considered an existential risk. All right, what do we need at cold storage? Uh, battery, we have gel, battery. Gel battery and there was one other thing. Okay, that freaks me out. <laughs> oh my God. I feel like more on edge than the last time I stream this, and I don't know why. Like, I should be used to it by now, right? Battery. Battery, battery. Where could we find a battery? Hydroponics. This probably won't have anything. Also, you know that all these halls and interconnected passageways, this is prime monster territory. So you know one of those, you know... One of those barnacle-headed Gumby suckers are going to be around. I think that's just our friend there. I don't think that's a monster just yet. Now, now if I were a monster, right? I'd be hanging up here. Okay, okay. All right, containment, hydroponics, biomechanical laboratory, infirmary, deep diving prep room. So, an eternal nightmare. Oh my God. Power room. Okay, that could be where batteries are. God, what was the last thing we were looking for? A cortex chip. Yeah, a cortex chip. Workshop, communications, that could be cortex chip. All right, let's try the power room. Yeah, let's do the power room. Okay. I just know there's going to be one. It's like when. It's been quiet for too long. Air vent. Oh, God. Lights are probably going to go out in here, and we're going to have to escape in the air vent. What? Oh, yo, that is crazy. <laughs> I found the battery. I, and they're both gone, of course. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, high performance rechargeable lithium sulfur packs. 515 watts. Yeah, that sounds like it'd do the trick. Okay, so remember how I mentioned monsters. Did I call it or did I freaking call it? Oh my God. I said the lights are gonna go out and we're gonna have to escape through that thing. Oh my God. Okay.
It looks like one of us. It looks like a, one of the diving suit things. What the hell? Okay. Hold on. Just, just in case he starts moving. I understand the existential risk. Maybe we're not ready for AI to take control, but then again, maybe we are. Look at all the disparities, inequalities, and imbalances in life from income, housing, healthcare, and government, although we just need to convince the AI the easiest way isn't to kill us off. That is true. That is true. But that's, you know, that's hard to do. I've also, I also read a thing where it's like even the biggest supercomputer right now is maybe only like 10 to the second power of like, you know, memory space. There's a way that they measure it. Measure it. I can't remember. But it's like the human brain with all the neurons and stuff is like 10 to the 16th power right now. So billions upon billions upon billions of light years ahead. So I, you know, we have some time. <laughs> it's not immediate. It's a, you know, we have some time before stuff starts to get too weird. The power pack is right in front of him. Oh my god. Oh no. How do we play this? Leave. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna try and throw something across the room and see if I can, like, leash it over there. Dang, it's like almost working. Oh my god. Is there a second one? Oh my god. There was something moving back over there. Are you kidding me? The AI will just use us as hard drives. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, I mean, we have more space. Okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Got the message. We're leaving. Got the message. Okay. Oh, I can't sneak around the front over there. Oh. It's fucking Edward Scissorhands, dude. It is. Literally, though. Okay. Dude, she's still looking at the battery pack. Oh, my God. Stop it. Go over there. I don't know which way she was walking. Oh god, don't laugh. That's creepy, man. I need to pull it away is the thing. Oh my god. So is it's going to where we were, I think, is what the what the catch is. Oh god, we're fucked. Oh god, we're fucked. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I didn't have time to grab it. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. And she's back over there? No. I should have just mad dashed and grabbed it. Oh my god. Okay, we need health before we try that again. There's a really good YouTube channel called Kurz Gesagt that examines these and other scientific series test subjects. Okay. There's a video about a supercomputer as big as a planet. Whoa. Wow. Like a theory? I hope. I don't want that kind of power yet. Oh my god. We know the batteries are in there, but I, I need health. I, I'm about to die. You, you get like 
if you're at max health, when the monster gets you, it knocks you down instead of kills you. So I need to get health again before I can attempt another mad dash. Okay, sweet. We got it. You know what? This is what I feel like at work sometimes. Right there. Literal, literally me on Mondays. <laughs> literally me. Also, that that sounds like really cool. I'm gonna have to check out that YouTube channel. Yeah, there's a theory because uh, in order to get a lot of power, you need a really big computer. That is true. I read another thing um, that was like at a certain point like a computer can only get so large because it dissipates the pro the processing you know power and the actual processing dissipates in heat so you have to have something equally as big to then cool it down so like you know computers or you know I, I guess computer is the only like thing really but if you're processing something that large you also need something equally as big to cool it down so there's like a maximum point right that, that it can get to before it can no longer handle the heat uh, you know dissipating the heat which is like you know it's pretty valid I mean my freaking gaming computer you know, it, it feels like a frickin' oven by the time it's done playing a game like this. And it should be so big that to power it, it should be built around a star, covering the star and using its energy. Dang, that's insane. That's some, like, that's some, like, Starship Galactica stuff right there. All right, boys. Okay. Oh, t take two. Okay, get to do some stretches. Okay. Let's get this bread. That's big. It is big. That is, you know, I can't even fathom, like, something that large, right? All right, high five, buddy. This one's for you. Okay. I'm ready. If we have to just run for it, we're running for it. All right. Okay. <laughs> There's a clip. Oh no. I'm scared. What is it? <laughs> we came to play. We're not we're not messing around this time. We're getting that battery. Yeah, you ready? Okay, come on. Come on. Okay, she's over here. She's leashed over there. That's what we want. Oh no, she still's here. All right, we're just running for it. No. Dang it. We went down right in front of the batteries though. Yes, okay. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. Just don't die. Where is she? Oh god, where is she? I'm making so much noise, holy crap. Just don't die. That's all we have to do here, just not die. Okay, okay. God, there's only one way in and one way out. Are you kidding me? Yeah, come over here. I, it's like she goes slow and then rushes. So maybe I'm just I'm just gonna go. Just going. What is happening? <laughs> I have no clue, I'm just running. <laughs> okay, did we make it far enough? Did we make it far enough?
Okay. Whew. I need to need to let the blood pressure lower after that one. That one was freaky. Okay. Gumby was a total bitch <laughs> compared to that thing. Oh my god. Whew. Okay. <laughs> oh man. That was wild. Okay. We made it. We're good. I got to see this clip. What is this? What what kind of madness? What's Don't Cry doing over here? My clip, Clipmeister. Clipmeister, Meister Clipper. I'm trying to open it. There we go. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, God, that's too loud. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's dying. It's always the death with you. It's always the death with you. <sighs> okay. You know, we're at least we're in good company in here. The Omicron bitches need to do a little more research. They effed up, man. They did. They let the AI get too smart. Look at them. They're you know they're paying. They paid the they paid the ultimate price. Don't cry. They lost the head and everything that went with it. Oh God, that was intense. Oh man, that was intense. I can't read these people anymore. Oh, I can't read them because their heads, they're decapitated in the black boxes in the skull. That's why I can't read them anymore. Oh my God, I legitimately got stressed there. Whew. Legitimately got stressed. Heart rate, very high. When, when you hear that scream and you hear those footsteps, oh. Because you're defenseless, you just have to run and hope that you're quicker than it. But I think I, I, think I got that monster right because all the times that we leashed it, it would like walk at first and then the second time it would sprint. So I was like, okay, maybe... Maybe if we just run by it the first time, it'll work. And thankfully, it paid off. Oh, shit. It's, count it's followed us. Oh, my God. It's over there. It's coming out of the room. Oh, can I put it back on lockdown? I may be able to put this place back on lockdown. Let me go to the middle level. I can lock it up there. Let me, let me just try and slow it down, I guess. Okay. Upper... Oh, can I not put it back on lockdown? Oh, no. You can only take it off lockdown. Shit. Uh, who ate these people's faces? That is not good. No, it is not good. That's the last thing you want to happen to you, is have faces et, in my personal opinion. <laughs> There's a lot of things on my to-do list before get my face eaten. That, th that it, it, it's following us. It's totally following us. What? Okay. How do we get to the lower level? We got the thing in the mid-level. We got the thing in the upper level. My, my gamer senses are telling me we now have to go to the lower level. There's, there's got to be one in each. Okay, I need a heal too. I'm gonna gotta keep my eyes look out for for a heal point. Yo, this game gets intense. Intense. We need to get you a new cortex chip, just like the ones you find inside robots, so we can store your brain. Um, so we're back here. What do I do with what I have? Because I have two of the uh, ingredients. I guess ingredients is the right word. I guess maybe we have to wait till all of them. I was wondering if I could like dump them off. 
before I go back out in the world, but apparently not. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Big brain time. <laughs> God, this game is stressful. It's so good, though. I got hats off to the developers. I gotta say, this is the most I've enjoyed a horror game in a very long time. So this is the lab. Nothing to do there. Let me take a look at the map again. Take the gel. We did that. So maybe back behind us. And then it's either got to be to the left or right. So whichever one's going down, I guess. Oh my god, stop. You fucker. You better cut that shit right out, mate. That's not okay with me. Eh, eh, eh. Come on. Come on, lad. Don't be playing those kind of games with me, son. I'll have none of that here. <laughs> not in jolly old Scotland, mate. Okay. Oh, well, this looks pleasant. I'm sure the lower level is just, just as uh, just as exciting as the upper level. <laughs> okay. Okay. We can do this. Maximum effort. Oh, come on, buddy. That's lightweight, man. He popped his... Yo, it, me after quarantine, though. This is going to be me trying to go to the gym, back to the gym for the first time. It's going to freaking explode from the strain. Because I, <laughs> I haven't had a decent workout in like three months. Please tell me there's a place to heal. Like before this shit gets actually intense down here. <sighs> Override. Incorrect. Okay. Lower. Over it. Well, there's only one way in and one way out. Which is uh, troubling. Which is very troubling. It's not a good sign. That guy's alive. Oh, no. Dude, I really need to find some health. That looks like another puzzle, so maybe that means progress. Let's try and find some health before progress. There we go. Okay, thank God. Oh, can we not use it? Is it already used up? Oh, no. Why? Why? This is some Inspector Gadget crap right here. Oh, my God. Look at that. That is insane. Go, go, Gadget. Get me the hell out of here. I'm wondering if we need to listen to this. It is. Okay. Omicron, can you hear us? Cloud and clear. Everyone all right? We will be as soon as we make friends with the power suits. I'm sure you'll get used to it. Go to Tau? Is that what it just said? Just wanted to check in before we pass the last word to Lumar for us. Dude, this AI is getting wild. Any last words to Omicron? It's getting wild. Don't forget to pick us up. You uh, heard that, right? Please respond. This is Rowley Herber calling. I feel like I have to keep my eye on the screen to see Please what the messages respond, are. Tao. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. An internal nightmare. Okay, yeah, we've gotten that one before. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Okay. Not very helpful. 
into the abyss. Take it to Alpha in the abyss. What the heck are these? Okay, so we got that. Squeeze me. Stress ball. I need one of those right now. Find Tau. Find Alpha. Take the gel to Alpha. Okay. The heart of Alpha. That must be where the AI is. Uh, gonna go now. Good game. Adios. Champion. Uh, and I'll catch you around, man. Thanks so much for hanging out. Thanks for following. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a fabulous week. And I'll catch you on the next one, man. Take it easy. Oh, there's another stress thing. Everybody's down here stressed. You know, they know what's going on. You too. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, my friend. All the best. Don't play too much League. And I'll stress you out. <laughs> I know it stresses me out. Alright, I guess we have to do this robot diagnostic thing. So let's uh, let's let's pop right into it, I guess. Let's see what happens. See if we can figure this one out. Comms motor optics. Okay. Eject the. Oh, so this is the cortex chip. Okay, so this is the final piece of the puzzle. Do we just have to put them all on open or something? Oh no, are these connectors? These may be connectors. It's hard to tell. Like, if this was a connector, in theory, shouldn't this one be on? Like, connection here, 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 here. Should be connecting there, in theory, right? Hmm. Have to do the open ones or something? I wonder if we can find a hint. I'm not really sure how that works out right there. Not yet, at least. Oh! Oh, we found our, our little buddy. It's Topa. <laughs> Chibi Roba is also in And K8. Oh, my God. It's the dude. It's the original little buddy. Yes. Oh, my God. K8. K8 was the original OG. This guy unlocked two doors for us, and he had the most pleasant little beep. K8. Godspeed. Godspeed, K8. We have to do it. Okay. We got to beat this for K8. You know, I know it was originally for ourselves. Now, now it's real. Now we're playing for K8. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, let's try and figure this out. How do you work? I'm wondering if they're supposed to connect in like certain places. Like one of these. Oh, you have to turn it on. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> well, there's your answer. So the open one is directing it. There we go. Okay. Optics are uh, optics are live. Optics are live. All right, comms are live. Do I see a motor? Do I see a live motor? Motors live. Comms isn't. Hmm. Get that. Can I do this one all open? Is that it? 
Oh no, we have to get the bottom ones too to eject it. Well, this is interesting. Okay. Okay, there we go. Cortex on. Okay, sweet. Cortex chip acquired. Progress. Forward progress. That's what we like around here. All right, let me fiddle with my chat for a second. Okay, back. <sighs> All right, guys. Onward and upward. So I think we have every piece of the puzzle now. We have the cortex. We have the... Um, we have the gel. And then we have the... Uh, whatchamacallit, the other one. The battery. That we died for. Literally. Literally. Literally died for it. Alright, let's head back. What the fuck? I didn't mean to pause the game. What? Okay. Okay. It escaped. All right, whatever it was, it escaped. Okay, going quick, going fast. Shut the door. Okay. Guys. Okay. Okay, I'm good. Oh, this is the wrong lab. Oh, no. <laughs> we went to the wrong place. Okay, okay, okay. We're good, we're good. Haimatsu. No foreign contaminants. I don't like this. Dive room, medical bay. Oh god, it's here. Oh freaking god, it's here. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, it followed us. It freaking followed us. How do I get to that room? It's gotta be this way. I'm not gonna shut that door. I don't want to make any more noise than I have to. Oh my god, it followed us. Are you fucking serious? What? What? What are we supposed to do there? Teleported on us. How do, how do you even what what do you what's the counterplay there? Oh my god. Okay. Do we have our full inventory? Okay, thank God. Oh my god, guys, what's the counterplay there? What do we even do? It just teleported right on top of us. Okay, it's gonna pop, lights are gonna go out. Yep. I'll follow you there. I think we accidentally stood up. Dude, fuck that thing. That thing is so freaky. Oh my god. I'm just gonna sneak. I think I accidentally stood up last time. Oh 
Oh my god, it's gonna run again. Shut the door. Lock it up. Lock the door. Okay. What's going on? I managed to piss off another one of WoW's monsters. We have everything we need, right? Yeah. Let's get to work. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's get to work. That thing is insane. This is crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. We just plugged it into the... <laughs> Make sure it's all bunched together with the structure jam connecting all the parts. We just stuck a computer right, chip so in this thing's freaking head. Oh my god, okay. This is whack. This is whack. Uh, activate from the terminal. Back, uh, power suit, nope. Back, pod D. Okay. I can't believe we're doing this. I can't it believe be we're fine. doing this. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was gonna suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it, change body. Yes. Oh if boy. If you wanna stay here, I'm not gonna stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would it be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right, let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. They're gonna freaking teleport our consciousness into that freaking dive suit. Oh my gosh. Okay, last time we did... I feel like we've done this before. And this, uh... Why does this embryo need calibration? I don't know. <laughs> we took the cortex chip and we shoved it into the freaking spinal column of this poor lady... And now we're going to take over her body and, like, remote control it like some freaking RC car. <laughs> this, is, this, this game is wild. We need to loop back the activity manifested by your current Cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. You lost me halfway there. Yeah. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. Okay. That makes it bigger. Have you calibrated your embryo today? I tried, you know, just something didn't work. Is this it? That's everything. That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. You know, I always oh, really? try and calibrate my embryo as soon as I wake up in the morning. It's the first thing I like to do to start my day. You know, <laughs> I can make one of those BS, you know, like, these are the five things the that all successful people do as soon as they get up. And then, you know, have, like, a cut to me, like, drinking coffee in, like, a really modern mansion looking out, you know, with my daily planner. First Stop thing I do, sit down in the pilot seat. calibrate my embryo. I can see it now. Sorry about any discomfort. This should be over soon. It's like having your picture taken. I should be a director. I could, I, could, I could be a regular no, Alfred Hitchcock over here, you know. Soul. In this case, they'd be right. Uh-huh. Don't fuck up. There must be something wrong. Can't you run a diagnosis or something? What was that? No, I it's just Why was it still talking? It's the what? same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? What? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. That's me. Copied. Oh my you god. Said, you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Captain. That's two insane. Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. That's I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. What's going to happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in his fucking nightmare again? All alone? So cruel. 
Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind this when we so go into the abyss? This is so deep. What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in anymore. This is crazy. So we have to kill ourselves. That's not us, but still us. So that's us. But we're all like, oh my god, this is this is some mind freaking fuck shit right here. Oh my god. That's so crazy to see. That's what we were the entire game. That's so insane. Dude, that blows my mind. That's crazy. Also, calibrate your embryo, number one. Establish the link, number two. Three, sit in the pilot seat. Get ready to live, son. Your 401k will be fully vested in a matter of seconds if you follow these three steps. God, what do we do? Do we kill it? Do we kill it? Okay, don't cry. I need your help here. Do we kill it and then continue on ourselves? What do we think? I don't I don't know what to do. This is this is deep. Cuz like it's us, but it's also not us. Oh, my chat just refreshed. If you just typed something within the last couple seconds, I apologize my chat just refreshed. Okay. Oh, sorry. This is insane. What do you think? Do we kill it? Do we kill ourselves from a couple minutes ago? I feel like it's the right thing to do. I don't know. Maybe I'm... Because he'll wake up and be freaked out that he's down here. No idea to get out. We're going to close it all behind us. It's just going to get killed. I think i got to pull the plug. I think I gotta, this is like, this is like pulling life support from your freaking grandparents. This is crazy. Okay. Oh, I feel like it's the right thing to do. Because it's gonna have no escape. Like once we're on the arc and done, it's just gonna be stuck down here. I am so sorry. Am I a horrible person? I feel like it was the right thing to do. Because it's just going to be dead. Well, I just killed it. I just killed my other body. I just plugged it. I unplugged it. I feel like that was... I feel like that was the correct move. Because it would wake up and it would just be trapped here. You know? Because we're going to hop on the arc and then, and then you know, ex make our exit into orbit. And that poor bastard would be stuck down here with these things. And it would just kill him. Right? It would just kill me. I can't do that. I can't. I can't know that that's his fate. Let's go see what's out here. This looks like my gamer senses are tingling. Let's see what's out here. Oh, is this to the abyss? Ah. 
as said by no all programming books, there are no bugs, only features. True. Very true. Oh my god, we gotta go to the aby abyss. <gasps> Little buddy! My man, he's back! I, he's such he's such a god. What a freaking legend. Are we done here? C H O eight. You're a good, Activate you're a good man. Please. Sure thing. Oh god, this looks like we're about to go on some kind of demented descend passengers one. This looks like some. <laughs> the abyss is gonna suck. You know that. I know that. Oh, I know that. You don't just get a name like the abyss. Here goes nothing. Are you ready? Don't cry. I don't know if I am, man. Have we figured out what happens when we die yet? Is that even possible? Maybe there's some kind of afterlife. Do you think my place is taken? The real me died like a hundred years ago. Is there still room for me? That's so what about deep. about Simon? I killed at Omicron. What do you think, Catherine? Is there a heaven full of redundant copies of the same people? Is there someone up there who call me an imposter? It's dumb luck, right? I woke up in the right body. I basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? This is You didn't this hit that to make deep. sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? Not that you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right Simon. Christ. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. And you wouldn't mind. Why would you? How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am? The Catherine that is very been. silent at the moment. <laughs> Please say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I could still feel how I had to, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the small rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge and, you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair and the sun was setting the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. 1,600 meters deep. For a brief deep. moment, I felt connected to the oh world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. This is we'll never deep. be able to rebuild or reclaim what we deep. were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. If we make it to the yard, would it be any different? I'd still be alone. No friends. No family. You could make new friends. I'm sure everyone would like to know. Okay, the mom. <laughs> if not, you still have. Oh shit! Oh, here we go. Catherine. Catherine. If not, you still Hello, have Catherine. me. Cuts off. 
What happened? I cannot see anything. What the heck? Do I have to leave my tool? What? Oh, there's some jellyfish. Okay. Got like a jellyfish rave going on, man. It's pretty dope. One of the fuses. I think it could be the atmospheric pressure. It's pushing pretty hard, really testing the limits of my suit. Don't worry, it should hold. Comforting. It will hold. Watch the arc be like some shitty bottle rocket with a hard drive tape to it. That would make me so happy. Honestly, though, that would be amazing. They hype it up all game like this super futuristic thing. And well, you gotta light the fuse. What's the I don't feel like I'm being held back. <laughs> hindered and i don't have the opportunity to reflect on the time i'm missing it's simply missing sounds like sleeping without the dreaming yes but generally you anticipate when you're about to sleep and there's a natural continuation since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep my hmm. experience is more like an ever-changing moment that never really seems to find closure sounds kind of like a movie being edited live i suppose so I guess it sounds exciting, but it really keeps me activated to the point of exhaustion. It's rough. Could be worse. Could be a time traveler stuck in a body made from... If I made a video game, people would be burning down their houses. <laughs> why? Why would you say that? Like, why? But, but why would they be burning, burning down their houses? Uh, don't cry. Oh, 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 oh. What, 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 what? what? I thought I Oh my god, it's that fucking you did it. You did it. I will make preparations. Is that like the sentient AI? Is that like the avatar of the freaking program? Something dropped onto the cage. Knocks you right out. It spoke to me. Looked like a man. One of WoW's creatures. It just stared at you for a moment, then threw itself down the abyss. It said it would make preparations. Wow. I don't like the sound of that. It was very strange. I thought it was going to kill you for sure. I'm glad it didn't. <laughs> me too. It was going to kill you for sure. Okay. Looks like we're closing in on the ocean floor. Good, not sure the climber can take it much longer. Okay, so this is the Omega Sector. It's about an acre of the abyssal plan used by Pathos 2. 4,000 we'll meters deep. We reach town. Holy crap. Not in a way that'll help us. Right, the author of you has been here. We're following your little footsteps, Cat. When I had footsteps. You could still be down here somewhere, technically. Don't remind me, freaks me out. Let's do it. Let's do it, chica. Can I not open it? Oh, I gotta get out. Okay. Gotta climb it out, I guess. Yes, no, no. Oh, swipe Omni tool. Okay, I need health. Whatever that thing did, it, it hurt me. I'm still, I'm still needing health. It is freaking dark. There is nothing out here. Oh my god. It's like we're in the abyss or something. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't make that noise. Sign in, Julia, Richard Holland, evacuation, fail, bring the ark. Okay. Ah. Uh, nothing there.
Oh my god. Dude, this is gonna be bad, because I just can't see anything. And I really need help, because it's messing with my, like, perception. Okay, let's, let's buffer this thing. Dude, something's moving out there. Oh, man. That's so spooky. Big spooky. Where's a health pack? Like, I really need one. There's nothing in here. Nothing. Okay. Open sesame. Okay, there we go. Warning. Fault line activity. Strong torrents expected. Ah, so that's maybe what I'm hearing. I'm not hearing a monstruo. I'm hearing the uh, seismic activity. Is this a health? Oh, thank God. Never mind. It's not. It's a little buddy. Oh, crap. Stick to the lamplights. They won't go near them. I can't, Valglasser. It's important I reach Omicron. Our future depends on it. Calm down. Let's just follow the path. If I die, I need you to tell Julia Dahl that the WoW is out of control. She needs to get to Sarang. He'll know what to do. Raz, you can tell them yourself. We just need to pick up the pace, okay? Okay. Glass! We lost the path! We need to go back! I know where to go. Come on. Why did we need to come to the it's bottom of this there. BFH again? The light is over there. Final push, Ross. Almost there. We, we, we need to... Well, that sounded like he had a very pleasant exit from this world. Uh, we needed to come here to come to Alpha, I think. Or to find Alpha. Danger, stay close to the lights. Blue leads to Tau, red leads to the Climber. So I guess we're going to Tau? Red? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to Tau. Okay. So, and then Tau is where the Ark is. Dude, this place is just horrifying. Yeah. Dude, I can't see anything. What the... Freaking hell. Oh my god. Canada is so dark. I know. It's like we're up in a... It's like we're up in the Arctic Circle at, at you know, like, winter. Just getting no sun. Oh, there's the torrents. Oh my god, that's loud. Light the maple syrup lamp. Crikey, mate, get the maple syrup lamp. Inventory mission. Inventory? What? Oh, okay, I thought it meant mine. Giant squid. Giant squid. Anglerfish. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Sorry I was away for a bit. No worries, man. You got a life to live. You're not just here to see me. It's all good. What the hell is going on here? Is this town? This, this, there's no way. What do we gotta do here? I mean, there's clearly something. Item one. Humpback whale. Squiddo. Anglerfish. Population size. Surging. Yeah, fuck this shadow storm guy. I know, he's terrible. Oh my god. Friggin' Canadian, the, the nerve of these Canadians to come in and watch the video game based on their own country. I can't. I just can't. You people are so rude. <laughs> How's your night been so far, my man? 
Light the maple syrup lamp. Eh? The maple syrup lamp, eh? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You know, I've I've never heard you eh, Mr. Shadow. Oh, Shadow. Gosh, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. One of us. One of us. We accept you. We accept you. <laughs> Enjoy your sub, Mr. Don't Cry. One of us. One of us. We accept you. We accept you. What the hell? What? What? Demon anglerfish? What? What is this? What is this? Oh my god, run. What is this freaking demon fish swarm? Can I like hide in here? Now you are part of the coffee nut cult, and you can never leave. That is true. <laughs> you are trapped. One of us, now Now you have to train us all in chess. And then we can go shark people on stream and get banned for calling them uh, D-bags. <laughs> Shadow, you're, you're too kind, my friend. You're too kind. Okay, let's see what's... I'm guessing we have to, like, hide in these things from the, uh, swarm. This stream deserves the love. Well, thank you. Thank you, sir. I mean, I'm not particularly good at video games, so hopefully I just provide someone some entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, you're over there kicking butt, taking names in MK. Let's go. You know, I played, um, I played Mortal Kombat on my Super Nintendo, like, a couple weeks ago. And, dude, there are not even half the mechanics, you know, in that version as there are now. And I was still getting my ass kicked. <laughs> Like back then, you know, there were just combos. There was no like fatal, you know, fatal crush. All that stuff y'all y'all talk about. I think each character only had one fatality. Simple times, and I still suck. <laughs> I've never been particularly good at fighting games, though. I'm, I don't have like the patience for it, I guess. Okay, we just turned that on. I'm wondering if that can, like, guide us. I wonder if we have a new little buddy. Yeah, we do. Okay. Tap. Let's send it to tap. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> Got a tickle in my throat. I think we send this to Tao. And we follow it. And that's, that's how we know how to get there. Dude, this is so stressful. In all stressness, in all fairness, uh, MK is a very unique playstyle. It's hard to jump from FPSs or RPGs into MK. Uh, you would kill me a lot in other games, I'm sure, though. Yeah, yeah, you never know. Fight, fighting game? Like, just the fighting game mentality. I've never, like, oh, shit, what the fuck was that? Yeah, the, the fighting game mentality. I've never, like, nailed it down. What is freaking going on here? Can't this shitty robot just fly in a straight line? He's doing his best. Nope. What? Bye-bye. Okay. Bye, friend. Sayonara. Where do we go now? What? Where do we go now? Do we just like wander? Like what is this? Lucky for you our local Kraken is friendly. 
in Lake Ontario, and he's called Wilbert. Very nice. Okay. Hello? Okay. What? GG. Yeah, this is definitely not good. No, not good at all. I have, I, I, I'm kind of at a loss right here. I guess we got to head back maybe and recall the robot. Oh no, we got to go in this cave. Okay. Okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down now. Oh my God. These are freaking spiders. Oh Jesus Christ. That's freaky. I'm getting sweaty. I'm getting sweaty. I feel like Shadow. Do some sweaty. Do some sweaty Soma. And then casuals for chill. Oh my god. <laughs> this is not good, as Don't Cry described. Yes, go in this very dark cave with spiders. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Have you ever seen anything, uh, uh, you know, a horror movie? This always works out well. For everyone involved. God, that is frightening. Dude, my girlfriend would be so done right there. She is so afraid of spiders. She would she would explode. Especially without having What the f Go away. Oh god, we're screwed. Is this fish really going to chase us into the ca Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to get around that? Oh my god. No! He's blocking the only exit! Don't cry. I mean, you said it, man. This would suck. It's sucking. Oh god, what do we do now? He's blocking the exit. What do we do now? He's pretty slow. I wonder if I could just run by him. Although that never really works in this game. He's got a back. Okay, he went, he left. Okay. Okay, we got to be sneaky now cuz now there's like actually things chasing us. Where did it go though? Okay, moving on. I just feel like it's gonna come out of that darkness. Dude, the flashlight literally does nothing here. It's useless. Maybe we could call him Barney, feed him treats, and get him to roll over. I like that idea. That's a good use. You know? Of all the things that could happen, I think that would be the best one. Okay, what else is going to come out of the darkness? Like, that's... Oh, God, don't... What the heck? Oh, my God, dude. Are you kidding me? Sauce. What the heck? Alright, we're running. We're running. I think I see a building. I think I see a tau. Okay, okay, okay. What's going to be in front of it, though? Like, I feel like it can't just be this easy. Huh. 
Or maybe it is. Oh. Oh. Okay. Wow. That was an experience and a half. Whew. That was an experience and a half. Right there. Oh, we made it. Is it? Oh, it's 11. Ooh. I, do we leave? And I think we. I think I may leave it here and do one more. Do maybe one more stream of it because now we're in the last area. Or do we just like push to the finish? What do we think? I feel like there has to be something after Tau, though. Never been happier to be inside. Let's find the Ark. I do have to work. Uh, I do have to work tomorrow. I don't know. I honestly thought we would beat it. So this is Welcome to town. By now. That What's is. left of it? Are you guys all right? What happened here? We ran out of real food long ago. People have been getting sick. Haven't heard from anyone in months. No shit. They all think you're dead down here. Some failed evac story circulating at Omicron. Oh, God. Listen, son. We're on an important mission, and we need your help to operate the Omega Space Gun. When it's done, we can all head back up the plateau. But now we need to get moving. Of the course. Space Gun. That's how they shoot head the arc out. To the and the uh, and out the the section to preserve power. All right. See you soon. Okay. Well, let's find the next good stopping point, and then I'm going to cut it. Ooh, maybe this after this heal. Yeah. Oh boy. What's happening? What's happening now? What's happening now? Okay, I quit yelling. That's a good sign. What do we have here? I'm here. I can go across. Oh, we're going to have to remove some barriers, I guess. Living area. I think this is where... I think this is where the Ark was. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave it for tonight. I'll just keep going. I'll just keep going if I don't, and then until it's done, I start a new project at work tomorrow, so I'm going to be a responsible employee, and I'm not going to stay up playing video games all night. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, that's Soma. We have one more stream left. We're in the final area. God, we maybe, maybe have an hour left, hour and a half. That's what I'm thinking. This has been a great game, man. I've really, really enjoyed this game. Holy crap. Seriously, how do you lose your arc? I don't know, man. It's crazy. How do you freaking lose the thing? It only is the fate of humanity and it has everybody's consciousness downloaded into it. <laughs> hey, don't cry. Thank you so much for hanging out tonight, my friend. You know, always a pleasure having you in chat, my, you know, resident chess master. Welcome to the cult. <laughs> I'm going to cut it there for tonight. Oh, man, that was awesome. So, everyone, thank you for tuning in. I've been the Coffee Nut. You've been yourself. I'm going to catch you on the next one, and I hope everyone has a wonderful week. I'll see you next time. Take it easy, Mr. Don't Cry Wolf, and I'll see you on the next stream. Adios, my friends, one and all. <laughs>